Hi, and welcome to another Sealed in Time production, where we bring historical photos to life. Please consider leaving a like and a comment, letting us know which photo is your favorite. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified whenever a new video is posted. Thanks for watching, and as always, enjoy the show. Female employees are actively engaged in canning small fish at the nearby canning factory situated along the docks in Finland. Family and friends have gathered to visit their cadet at the Military Training School in West Point, New York, established in 1901. They watch with pride as the cadets perform their exercises on the parade grounds. Some of the women who were recruited to sew parachutes during the early stages of parachute production. A photograph captured on a cabinet card crafted at the Alfred Noyer Studios located in Paris, France during the early 1900s. Francelia Billington initially made her mark as a silent screen actress in early American cinema before transitioning into a skilled camera operator. A photograph taken in the early 1900s, archived by the City of Toronto, Canada Archives and captured by William James Sr., depicts a gathering of children who were under the care of the state at that time. Helen Lee Worthing was an American stage and film actress, born in 1905, Louisville, Kentucky. She rose to fame in the 1920s with her striking beauty and talent, starring in silent films and Broadway productions. Worthing's career was marked by both success and personal struggles, including tumultuous marriages and legal battles, which ultimately overshadowed her achievements in the entertainment industry. Walter Ewing and George Beatty, both representing Canada, are eagerly looking forward to their chance to compete in the trap shooting event at the 1908 Olympics in London. A young couple, accompanied by their family, has just moved to 1938, Bertha Hill, West Virginia. The husband has secured employment in the nearby coal mines. Dorothy Dandridge and Harry Belafonte, depicted in this image, starred together in three notable films, Bright Road, Carmen Jones, and Island in the Sun. The American actress, singer, and dancer Mary Carlyle was renowned for portraying the quintessential wholesome young woman in a multitude of musical comedy films of the 1930s. On August 11, 1954, Miss Audrey James and Anna Brown paused their summer journey across Canada to enjoy a refreshing swim by the Oldman River in Alberta. In the early days of summer, a pair of women from 1949 are harvesting cherries in the cherry orchard nestled within Junction City, Oregon. During a filming hiatus, on a 1930s set, Buster Keaton, the renowned actor, entertains himself by playing with a turtle. In 1906, a young woman attempted to capture a photo featuring her pet cat 
peacefully napping on a silver platter. Despite her efforts to include the feline without disturbing its slumber, her endeavor proved unsuccessful. A migrant agricultural worker from Florida journeys with a group equipped with their own tent, establishing their camp at the Bell Cross site in North Carolina, circa 1940, eagerly anticipating the arrival of his companions. Albert Einstein, a theoretical physicist born in Germany, is widely recognized as one of the most brilliant and influential figures in the field. In this image, he appears to be at ease, sporting his comfortable fuzzy slippers. In 1924, a photograph captured the Fairmouth sisters, Florence, age 15, and Susie, age 20. They were involved in the production and distribution of moonshine during the era of U.S. Prohibition. While strolling through the town, a Spanish laborer was approached by a traveling photographer who inquired if he could take a photograph. All inhabitants of the 1901 farm in western Norway gathered for the itinerant photographer's visit. A group of recently arrived immigrants pauses for a photograph within the scenic backdrop of Sydney's Palace Grounds in 1908, Australia. With a pond nearby the photographer's studio, there are additional options available for subjects beyond just studio poses, as exemplified by this young woman from 1915. Guests invited to the Roosevelt House in September of 1908 are arriving by foot or carriage at Sagamore Hill, the presidential estate situated near Oyster Bay, Long Island. In this 1911 Antarctic photograph, Herbert George Ponting, renowned as a professional photographer, is depicted. He gained fame as the expedition photographer and cinematographer for Robert Falcon Scott's Terra Nova expedition to the Ross Sea and South Pole. A man and his spouse are preparing for a ride in 1905 on one of the earliest Indian motorcycles, equipped with a sidecar. The London floods of 1933 were expected to be around for a while, so the residents and shopkeepers put up some temporary raised sidewalks so they could still get around. A charming young woman visits the neighborhood photographer's studio to have her portrait taken for potential employers in the early 1900s. Loretta Young, the celebrated American actress, was born in January 1913, hailing from Salt Lake City, Utah. She began her journey in the entertainment industry as a child embarking on a rich and diverse cinematic career spanning from 1917 to 1953. In the early 1900s, Robert Edward Dillon and his sister, Georgiana, are honing their archery skills amidst the serene grounds of Clonbrock House in County Galway, Ireland. May Allison, an American stage and film actress, attained her greatest success 
during the early 20th century, particularly in silent films.